Hi everybody, this is John Lamesny, and tonight I am going to uh, use Inkscape in order to do a request. And this request came to me from somebody who saw my talk on 365 Sketches. Uh, his name's uh, Joe S Joel Studebaker, and he sent me a nice email. And he said that one of his favorite phrases is uh, swung on idea as on a chord, um, which I take to mean um, to uh, attach to an idea strongly, which I tend to do. If I hear something that I think is a great idea, I think that I uh, am swung on it as though I'm swinging. So... Um, I thought to illustrate this, I would uh, use the text itself and break it into um, four sets of two words. I'm going to take this block of text here and I'm going to use the uh, extension for text called split text and this allows me to separate into words or lines um, or letters I'm going to use lines I am not going to preserve the original text I just want the lines to be broken up I'm going to say apply and close and now this block of text is four separate pieces. The reason I'm doing it this way is that I'm going to have a guy uh, swinging on an idea as though he were on a chord. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take this block of text which contains all the characters on my keyboard and shift characters on my keyboard and I'm going to uh, choose a font with people in it and again uh, up here I have this application running uh, that will show you what I'm uh, typing as I type it because I don't have a camera on my keyboard so the name of this font is parkour or parkour which is um, this sort of urban sport where uh, people take the most interesting path between two points the whole point is to uh, be athletically interesting from what i understand it's, it's a, a an amazing thing to watch i've seen it in person a couple times and um, those people are true athletes so anyway, this font is based on the idea of parkour. And what somebody's done is made a font of a whole bunch of uh, people doing these, these actions, which are really great for uh, when I need a human with uh, doing some action. Usually I can find something akin to it here. And uh, in this particular case, I want somebody swinging on a rope. So I am going to shift control C in order to change this into paths. Now I have a group of 91 objects uh, and I'm going to ungroup them so that I can select them individually. I see the one that I want right here. I'm going to move that onto my canvas. I'm going to hit 5 in order to go to my canvas. I'm going to make him a bit bigger so that you can see the detail of him. I'm going to rotate this figure and I'm going to have a rope uh, go as though it's going through his body here uh, from 
his foot to his hand is sort of a straight line. I'm going to take my Bezier tool. I'm going to travel through his body there. I'm going to hit return in order to create that line. Let me try that one more time. Sorry. And now I'm going to increase the size of the stroke to, let's start with four. That's nice. I'm going to take this text. Size it up a bit. Try to lay it out on the page in order to be interesting just as objects. I always want, uh, whenever I'm using text that I want to be readable, I want to make sure that the topmost piece is the first string of text, the last most piece is the last piece of text on the bottom. And um, generally, I want people to be able to follow the thought from top to bottom um, and be able to read it. In other words, I don't want to put a chord up here because then somebody would say, be swung a chord on idea as on. Uh, I want to make sure that the eye travels just the way that I intended to here. So uh, I'm going to select this text, holding down shift as I do so that I can select all those pieces. I'm going to go back into my text dialog. Move to the top. We'll start to travel through. I think that's a great font for this message. bold font for a nice bold idea. And I'm going to import a palette because I want to uh, rely on a palette I collect uh, palettes that I think will be useful from colorlovers.com. I'm going to size this down a bit so you can see the ones, the previews. I'm looking for something that might represent air and have a nice silhouette. That might be it. That's quite nice. I think it might be that one. There we go. So I'm going to import this as a link. I'm going to move it a bit out of the way.
I'm going to uh, bring in a background. I'm going to turn on snapping. Make sure that page border snapping is set. This purple in particular is uh, exactly what I don't want. I'm going to send that to bottom. I'm going to use my dropper tool, which I can get by uh, hitting D on my keyboard. And if I hit S on my keyboard, it goes to selection. So if I select this rectangle, then hit D, I can, for example, choose this bright background. If I hit D again, it's, it toggle, toggles back to the selection tool. And I can make that figure that color. Because this is a stroke of a path and not a fill of a path, if I uh, choose this color here without uh, doing anything else, it will not change at all. I'm going to hold down shift and choose this color and uh, that sets the color as I wish. I'm going to go back to D again to toggle back to selection. I'm going to select and assign colors as I go. Just as an experiment, I'm going to set to that nice blue. I actually think I like that better. I'm going to shift select these pieces of text and go to my dropper tool. Yeah. I'm also going to set a gradient. for that background. And I want it to be a linear gradient as opposed to a radial gradient. I'm going to whoops, undo. I'm going to use the selection tool, select the background without selecting any of that text. I'm going to switch to gradient tool by hitting G on my keyboard. And I'm tempted just to leave it like that, but let's just try this green here. Yep. Hmm. I sort of like the white better. So I'm going to get this palette out of the way now. And uh, one final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, Joel was good enough to pass the author to me. Which I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go back into the piece. And I'm going to paste. I'm going to choose a nice font for that name.
think that's perfect. Telegraphico is one of my favorite fonts. I'm going to uh, control size this down. I'm going to hit five on my keyboard in order to focus on the page. I'm going to put that down in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and save that and export to PNG so that I can put it up on 365 sketches. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and I hope you come back. Have a great night.